This is John and Rachel, and today we're jacking around with Carl Carlander. And uh, we have to thank John and Larry for this house, right? We just bombarded a house and we're talking about Louie Anderson. Carl Curlander, we know you from the Pittsburgh film industry. We know you from so many things. Saved by the Bell. I have to take a picture of you for Saved, Saved by the Bell because my brother well, is not going to do it. I met Louie when I was, um, by the way, I was a young, thin man, and now I look at myself, and Louie used to say, I'm saving shirts for you, so I now feel like, thank you, Louie. Um, but, you know, I met Louie back in the 80s with a guy with a baseball bat. It was Robert De Niro's lawyer. We were supposed to write a film uh, about Louie's act about Christmas. And that fell through. Uh, actually, we were going to do that, and his writers, who were going to write his TV pilot, went on on The Simpsons. So I ended up writing a pilot for NBC. They greenlit it, six episodes. We were all going to be rich. It was when Roseanne was happening. And Louis said, no, I want to lose weight and get more in touch with my mother. And so he spent time with his mother, bought her a condo. She was happy, and she died the next year. And we somehow remained friends, even though I lost millions or he lost millions. And the strange thing is we've been friends forever and done a lot of things, but then when I moved to Pittsburgh, Louie was hosting Family Feud and he was writing a book called The F Word, How to Survive Your Family. So we wrote that together. I was gonna say, you helped with that? I not only helped with that, uh, I wrote it and then Louie came here um, and I had to go to Minneapolis because I was a Vikings fan growing up here, oh which is Franco God. said to me, well, Franco <laughs> goes, that wasn't a very smart thing in the 70s, <laughs> yeah. but I like Fran Tarkin and he can run away. So Louie came here and I'll tell you, we went to a casino, God bless him, because he loved to gamble. And somebody comes up to him and goes, John Candy. And he goes, no, John, he was such a nice guy and such a survivor and such a real nurturer of talent. And so, and then I went to the Habit Trails of Minnesota because it was a winner and met his whole family. And Louie really turned out to be much more about family, which is very Pittsburgh and very Minneapolis. You know, he didn't care. He got famous pretty early on from The Tonight Show, but he always, if you meet to a person, he'd take time to meet people, he'd nurture other comics. You know, he helped me. I, at some point I was gonna do stand-up and he would go and give me tips. And then he actually backed a mutual friend of ours, gave her $20,000 to go to Minneapolis. And she not only became a great stand-up, but she ended up become the executive producer of Lone Grace. Uh, I'm wearing this Life with Louie thing. And Louie did that about his family. And Fred Rogers went to the White House with the producer of Louis Show, and they talked about how children's programming when it's done well could really affect people's lives. And you know, Bob Saget just died and Louis died, but you know, they, were, they both talked about what great people they are, but Louis was all about giving to other people. And in the end, I guess, just like Fred knew and everything else, that's the spirit that keeps living very like Pittsburgh, right? Louie would always give for others more than himself. So when Louie told me that he didn't want to do this pilot in the 80s, he said, you know, I'm never going to be a great actor until I can really play my father. And he really loved his mother. His father was a complicated guy. So years later, he calls me and goes, you won't believe this. They just called me to play Zach Galifianakis's mother. And playing his mother is what really unlocked and let him show his warmest side and his mother's best side. And he won an Emmy and he was nominated twice. So life is not like this. It's like the crazy rivers of Pittsburgh. Right. So anyway, nice. Let's all say hi to Louie. So yeah. In, in a term of endearment form, we say, uh, God rest in, rest in peace, Louie. You jack off. You jack off. And Louie would appreciate it because he was always calling me a jack off. If not, just watch my tale to see these. You can Google it. You'll watch Louie literally give me grief for calling, saying we're making a Mr. Rogers and me. But Louie, we love you and you were the best of all Jaguars. So.